Hello again. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to work with uh, another feature inside Excel. It's uh, how uh, it's called protection and how or how to protect your sheet. So why we need uh, uh, sheet protection? For a lot of reasons, right? So when you write something, when you design sheet, um, you want to be protected. You don't want people to uh, adjust your work, for example, especially with uh, formulas. So we don't want to be able to change your formula or play with your formula. But also you want to let them input and output, like read, uh, change the, the, the constant, uh, the numbers on the sheet. So for example, let's make she a sample. Uh, so here I will make this one called, uh, I will make uh, those numbers here. And then I will make two formulas for them. And then uh, you will, uh, we will work together uh, to make uh, uh, to find uh, uh, or uh, to do protection in practice. So here I will uh, write uh, total, okay, and then I will use a sum formula equal sum this one and then i will select those cell click enter so here we have the total from this side i will put here this is uh, the average okay and then here i'll say equal average and then i select those cells and then click enter okay so now uh, we have uh, uh, data which is those numbers and then uh, we have formulas on those data so average and total so when you design any sheet it depends on the type of work you're doing you don't want people play with these things with the formula okay they could change uh, uh, the numbers uh, okay this is the numbers you could they could change it but they don't you don't want them to be uh, to play uh, with them uh, or to play with the formula so if I click here now uh, I could change it or I delete it uh, so I will maybe I will mess up your your work right so if I click like this and then uh, so now I have problem happen right with my formula because I delete some uh, letter and then uh, from the average and then everything messed up right so uh, let's delete it again and then we say equal average and then we select it again so this is what uh, what i mean okay they could change those numbers because that's like those variables but we don't want them to play with our formula this is the most important part of sheet protection but also you can protect your sheet completely with password and as we're gonna see so what i'm gonna do right now i will protect the formula so anyone can use my my sheet they could enter data here but they cannot change the formula because at the end the formula will give me the result uh, of uh, the sheet whatever data being entered in this sheet okay so to do that so uh, i'm just gonna uh, make this like fill fill this one here and then i will fill uh, this one here just to make them a little bit recognizable okay so what i'm gonna do now we're gonna do protection so any change cannot be happen for the formula, but it's okay to do anything for uh, the other data. So you go home, and then uh, uh, you go like uh, uh, find and select. So what we want to do, we want to select all the constant in, uh, in our uh, sheet. The constant, the, any cell does not have uh, like a formula. So it's constant. Formulas that any cell does have formulas, not and so on. So uh, let's click on constant. Let's see what, what the selection will happen. So see uh, uh, the selection happen for anything, uh, 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 including the total and average. Does not have, uh, so you see 220 and 18.8 uh, is not within the selection because they are a formula. And now what you're going to do next step you're gonna uh, go home again and go to font and click on this little arrow and then 
uh, you will see here protection and this is automatically will be locked so what you're gonna do just and un uncheck it here like this okay and then click okay now if you keep it like this your sheet is not gonna be protected okay so what you're gonna do you're gonna go here to your home uh, sorry formulas and then from formulas you will uh, uh, yeah formula and then from the formula uh, you will see sheet protection sorry not from formula from review and then click on review you will say protect your sheet okay sheet this will protect the sheet work protect workbook that's mean everything uh, more than one sheet okay so click on protect sheet now uh, it says okay selected locked it selected and locked it no problem and then uh, if you want to put password you have to put password and then you have more than options here i'm not going to put password for now just click okay so now if you come here and you click anywhere here you could change the numbers right i could change uh, the 22 to 33 no problem but when i click on the average and try to enter anything say the cell or chart you're trying to change is a protected sheet okay this is the idea of doing uh, uh, protection and protect your formula it will be very very helpful and as i said you could add password you could do more things with it and so uh, this is how you can use protection again the steps you're gonna go home and then find select you're gonna select the constant after that uh, you uh, go home and then uh, uh, you go to uh, font click on this little arrow here let me because the reason i cannot do that because the sheet is protected right now so to go to make it unprotected go review and say unprotected sheet okay so you go home and then uh, font and then you go sheet protection and make sure uh, this one uh, unchecked for the constant okay uh, it will by default it will be like this so you gonna make it like this okay and then after that you go to preview and click on protect sheet and then uh, you want to put password you don't want to put password and so on so on what kind of protection so you could format the cell format the column uh, all of this you could delete row like you don't want them delete anything you don't want them to add anything edit object edit scenarios so uh, this kind of protection you could add it when you protect your sheet okay and then okay and that's it this is how you can protect your sheet thank you and see you again